what is going on guys welcome back and as you can see we're coming at you from the streets this time around with all our luggage all our stuff and the reason behind that is our bus showed up 45 minutes late so the early check-in that we were able to do with our Airbnb got pushed back because the owner had to leave so now we have to wait two hours till three o'clock so we can check into our Airbnb and we're just sitting on the street um, Besides that, I also forgot an entire bag of leftovers and groceries on the bus because I kicked it under the seat to make room for because I kicked it under the seat to make room for our luggage and when we were getting off the bus was so packed and it was so hectic that I literally just forgot about it. So we're gonna have to go grocery shopping again. <laughs> so as you can see this day definitely started out with a struggle, but we're almost there. We're half an hour away from making it into our Airbnb and we'll show you guys how it looks after. Welcome to our second Airbnb in Malta. We're here for four nights. It's right on the outside of Valera, which is the capital city. We're paying $43 a night. Let's see what we get for that. This place has four bedrooms. We have our bedroom back there in the far right with a private bathroom, a shared kitchen, a shared living room, and a balcony for anybody who wants to smoke. But neither of us smoke, so we're probably not gonna use it. When you come in here, you can see the bedroom. See how nice it is, clean, much more modern than our last place. <laughs> There's a lot of closet space here, as well as our private bathroom right there. We're done for the day, we're so tired. We lost all our groceries, so we just came back from another grocery haul. We're gonna end the video here for today and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Today we're touring the Blue Lagoon and the Sunday Market, so we're heading to the bus stop right now. You can see we're traveling a little bit lighter today. Yesterday was pretty rough, but today's gonna be a great day. This is the lightest we're ever gonna travel though. This backpack is gonna be always coming with us no matter where we go. So we made it to the bus stop and we're going back to where we came from yesterday actually because that's where this tour starts from. And let's hope we make it in time to actually get on there. Their buses are so efficient here. There's just like one after another immediately. You're not waiting for long. At least right now on a Sunday morning. Yesterday one of them was late. And this is our bus. We just made it to the tourist stand where they sell all these tours and stuff. And this tour right here, we're gonna be exploring some caves, the blue water, and a market. That's what we're gonna be doing. It is a Sunday today and uh, it does say here that they're open from monday to sunday 8 a.m to 4 p.m but they're not open yet and it's 8 a.m but you know european time <laughs> our day is starting off on a little bit of a struggle as usual travel days everything it's always a struggle but today unfortunately we've been waiting for an hour now it is nine o'clock right now and it is winter here in Malta, it is their winter, but this sign is not very accurate. It's not open daily from Monday to Sunday from 8 to 4, like I was saying before. And I guess false advertising doesn't exist in Malta. They keep the sign up all year round, even though it's not true. But thankfully they asked one of the tour buses and they said that they're going to come at 9 o'clock and uh, we'll see if it works out for us. So this is the bus that we're going to be getting on. It finally came. We only had to wait an hour and a half. <laughs> but luckily it was pretty nice outside, nice and sunny. And Zay's just inside paying for our tickets. The guy said that it would be 15 euros per person and you can hop on and hop off at any point. And we're going to be going to the Blue Grotto as well as the market and lots of other sites. So it should be pretty cool to see. COVID times and winter make for a great experience for us because there's nobody on this bus and we got our tickets at a discounted rate. Completely empty, both the bottom and the top. We 
We stopped in the town of Marsa Schluck, which is known as the Fisherman's Village because a lot of the fishermen live here. There's a huge market that happens every day, but on Sunday specifically, it's even bigger. And we're just walking through it right now. There is everything here from household goods, shoes, clothes, food, whatever you want. And it's so cheap. And they said because the stuff in the market is way cheaper, you're better off shopping here than in the city. And you get this beautiful view of the water and all of these boats. This town is known as the fishing capital of Malta. So we're gonna look for a shop that sells fresh fish and we're about to try it. This morning, they actually made sandwiches and we really, really did not plan on eating out. But when you're in a place like this where there's fresh local fish, how could you not? So we're gonna give it a try. We're at this beautiful restaurant and let's see how everything is. We stopped at this restaurant called Pa Matthew and we wanted to try local fish and we opted for the local swordfish. It came with fries, a salad, roasted potatoes, and some baguettes to start as an appetizer. All of this cost 17.50 euros. Cut it. First time trying the swordfish. Very delicious. We just finished eating and I think it was Zay and I's first time both trying swordfish if I'm correct. And this was fresh swordfish and it was very, very delicious. It didn't taste very fishy. It was a very like meaty, nice taste. And uh, yeah, the restaurant was called Pa Matthew. It's right behind me. And let me just show you guys all down this coastline right here. There's a whole bunch of restaurants. So you can sample any of them. They probably all have fresh fish here. And like Zay was saying before, Sundays is the days to come here because that's when their fish is delivered and that's when it's fresh. Atel and I both have sweet teeth, or a sweet tooth, I should say and we decided to stop and get some authentic Maltese desserts at the market and we got this pistachio looking cannoli and this little cookie filled with Nutella. They measure it by the gram here so every 100 grams was 2 euros and 50 cents. These two are pretty dense and heavy so they came to 10 euros but they only accept cash and I had like 7 euros and 50 cents or 8 euros and I looked at the guy I was like this is all I have and he's like that's fine and he just accepted it and he gave us these. And before we even got there, as we were walking up, he handed, it a piece, he handed us a piece of cookie and we were just like, oh, thank you. And we tried it and we're like, wow, this is really good. We should get some more desserts. So I'm going to try these right now. I'm going to try the pistachio one first. Mm. That's good. That's so good. And the shell is like soft. It's not hard and crunchy. Let's try the Nutella one next. Mm. That's good too. That's so soft on the inside. I think I have a bigger sweet tooth than Zay does and I can't wait to try them. <laughs> it won't be on camera, but you can bet that I'm gonna love them both. The Blue Grotto is the largest naturally sea eroded cave on this side of the island and you can just tell how beautifully everything is carved out and the water is like a blue turquoise green and the way the sun shines on it just makes it look like different colors this is a beautiful beautiful place just got off this tour and let me just tell you guys that if you're coming to Malta this is a must do one of the other things the bus pass and this tour absolute must the tour goes on the north side and the south side so there's two different ones we did the south side today and it basically lasts all day 
and this tour I think it stops at 13 stops and it really lets you explore the island in one day and you can hop on hop off and explore all the beautiful sights Malta has to offer and it's completely worth it and it only costs us 15 euros I think possibly in the summertime it's 20 and uh, the guy said they gave us a discount so it was 15 each so 30 euros for a full day experience to be brought all around the island that is completely worth it and it was amazing and it's a guided tour as well so you get headphones to listen to all the factual information that's being given to you as you pass by all the historic sites we learned a couple cool facts on this tour one of them being that cremation is not allowed in Malta which was very interesting and also that there used to be 80,000 olive trees and because a lot of them have been wiped out they plant a new olive tree for every child that's born that is so cool one of the churches that was in the tour had two clocks on it and the guide told us that there was two clocks on the church because back in the old days they were so superstitious that they thought that the devil wouldn't be able to tell what time the mass was at if they had two different times and we also found out why there's so many cacti everywhere. It's because they're all over the island as windbreakers. We found that out today on our tour. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give us a like, subscribe down below, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys in the next one.